Good morning, Scorpio. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for April 18th, 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading. We'll see what the overall message is from your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, and your guardian angels, whether it's in regards to your specific person. It could be about a family member. It could be about a social group of friends or a friend. It could be about your career and or your finances, your creativity, your imagination, your ideas. Let's find out. Let's see what's going on. And of course, always, I've got my badass Scorpio cup going on. Good morning. I'm drinking a apple cinnamon black tea with almond milk and cinnamon love it it's delicious all right calling upon the trusted ancestors of my scorpio viewers and my scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers and so it is And of course, on this channel, we work with the power of numbers. We have the power of number one. We could see the magician card or any of the aces. So you could be dealing with any zodiac sign. However, if the magician makes its presence known, you could be dealing straight up with a Gemini. Ooh, interesting. Power of number one again. Okay. One represents leadership and a new fresh start, a new beginning. Power of number three, could see the Empress card kick in, possibly the three of swords. I'm seeing the three of wands and the three of pentacles. You may want to Google the angel number as an additional spiritual message for this reading today. One, one, three, one, thirteen. Okay. Looks like we are going to the power of number three. Five. Number five, some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. So we could see the Hierophant kick in. However, I am seeing the Five of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we could also see the Death card, Sign of Scorpio, major change and transformation, being the Phoenix rising up out of the ashes. And the power number 15 is also circulating in there. That would be the sign of Capricorn through the devil card. Mm. I'm hearing the song from the 80s, Obsession. You are my obsession. Ooh. Could be a specific person out there that feels that you are their obsession, Scorpio. Mm. All right. We'll find out. Power of number five. Wow, we haven't had a low number like that in a long time. <laughs> Here we go. Power of number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the overall message for the day commencing for April 18th of 2022, please? Oh my goodness. Maybe there's a reason why I heard that song, You Are My Obsession. <laughs> The lover's card. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian throughout the month of June. Mm, power of number six. Something about divine union. This could definitely be about your specific person or new soulmate activity possibly kicking in for a lot of you Scorpios. Or it could be falling back in love with yourself, getting your self-confidence back up and running again. If you've been feeling 
in some form of low vibrational frequency, been having trouble maybe with your self-worth, Scorpio. <clears throat> we'll find out. We'll see how the, the lover's card is kicking in. Hang on one second. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. Some of you feel kicked to the curb, ignored, or neglected. It could be through a specific person. It could be a friend, a family member, etc. Or it could very well be true that your specific person could get their ass kicked to the curb. Or this could be them in a third-party situation. Mm. Somebody's feeling ignored. Mm. Interesting. How is the lovers coming into play? Ah, there's forward movement. Six of swords. Some of you are dealing with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and or Gemini more specifically. So getting out of a dark and clouded situation, Scorpio, in regards to your romantic life, it looks like for some of you, if you pay attention, something could be f like moving forward for you in the next six days or possibly six months weeks okay because swords represent days or weeks okay yeah it is about getting out of a clouded situation moving on from some kind of a burden something that feels heavy Moving forward, or this could be your specific person trying to move out of or move on from a burdening situation in the love department for themselves. We'll find out what this Ten of Wands is. Page of Swords, somebody spying in on you, Scorpio. But we know that. For some of you guys, don't matter if you have this person blocked or they blocked you. They'll find ways. Or somebody is going to be unblocking you on a social media account. Page of Swords. There is some form of communication coming in. Or somebody is moving on from a troublemaker or your specific person's moving on from a troublemaker. Somebody has been in observation of your energy in general. Message from the Page of Swords. What is this communication? The World Card. It is about a social media platform. Social media platform. It could be friends. It could be family members. You could be moving on from troublesome family members. Toxic family members. Focusing in on you. Focusing in on partnership. Some of you are flying under the radar right now. That's what I'm also hearing from Spirit. Silence is golden. That's what I just heard. Some of you could have gone rogue, gone silent on certain family members or immediate family members. There's a change I feel that is coming here because of this forward movement with the Six of Swords. And it looks like it could be also too. <clears throat> Another time frame I'm picking up. We have the fixed sign energy. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, and or another Scorpio, such as yourself. I've got fire sign activity, Aries, Leo, Sag. That's not to say the earth signs are not here. Taurus is here and out in the ethers, Capricorn and Virgo. Okay. I just heard from spirit, choose wisely. Choose wisely. Whatever that means to you, Scorpio, choose wisely. Fine print. They just showed me a piece of paper looking over the fine print. So whether this is literal, if you're in a business, signing contracts, etc., before you can move into something that's going to bring you some form of happiness, whether it be in business, 
<laughs> you know, I'm also hearing from spirit that some of you, because of your detective side, Scorpio, if you are doing online dating, some of you are courageous and brave enough to go the distance and do a background check, <laughs> a background check on some of these potential suitors. Some of you may have been ambitious enough to do that. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, nowadays, it's almost like we almost have to. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been on an online dating format, to be honest with you. Many, 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 many years ago. The world card. Something about a closing out, an end of a karmic cycle, or... <clears throat> your specific person's getting ready to close out a cycle with somebody that they're dealing with and moving forward to this divine union. Justice, before I uh, shuffle the deck, justice card. Some of you guys are dealing with Libra's power of number 11, and we are in the 11th minute of this video. Okay, something about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth coming forward. message from the world wow well for some of you guys it is about business or somebody's moving on from a long-term committed partnership and headed in your direction ace of pentacles baby again looking over the fine print it could have to do with business dealings it could be uh with notarization you could be dealing with certain lawyers trademarks uh patent lawyers etc <clears throat> registering for those of you who live in the United States could be registering your business with your particular state. Somebody wants to marry you and somebody's patiently waiting or you're patiently waiting for your business to get up and running Scorpio be patient be diligent do not give up it's on the grow you have to do you know for those of you who are in business maybe you're getting a new business started up and running there could be the naysayers the gab the gossipers the whispers because I'm picking that up from the page of swords that could feel like their words are burdensome unto you. Drop the burden, Scorpio, because they don't they don't know that a lot of you are meant to be worldwide known, which will for some of them, it's gonna shock the S H I T out of them. Their mouths are gonna be dropping open like a codfish, okay? And like I said, there will be those people, and this is this energy has come up before, where people in the past did not support you. They didn't give you any recognition. They weren't hitting the like button on anything that you would post or share or whatever. But then all of a sudden, you start to, because you're going to be diligent, because you're going to go the distance, you're going to be patient. And you're going to keep moving forward, Six of Swords. And this is in regards to business, okay? You're going to shock the world. You're going to shock your family. You're going to shock your friends. And what I'm also seeing here, too, is that I feel that there is a romance of a lifetime coming up for you, Scorpio. For those of you that have been patiently waiting working through your healing process, releasing karmic toxic cycles or patterns or behaviors, knowing when to cut people out. You'll know who is going to be tried and true unto you as a friend, Scorpio, because strangers will become your best friends. Strangers will become your number one biggest fans and or, or your supporters, not your family. And I've said this many times before. <clears throat> What is moving in your direction is cut out the burdens, move on, 
from gab gossipers naysayers the ones that don't have your back and you intuitively know who doesn't have your back because you're meant to be exceptionally successful and somebody also here is watching you rise to the top they're gonna be shocked give me another message from the page of swords please trusted ancestors Yeah, somebody's going to be butt hurt. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I couldn't find any other way. I mean, yeah, a wounded warrior, butt hurt. Yeah, because it could very well be true that these people that are going to see you go into a healthy relationship, they're going to see you be successful in business, they're going to be butt hurt. They're going to wonder how you did it. But don't you tell your secrets, Scorpio. Don't you tell your secrets. Mm -mm. Why would these group of people or a particular person, and it could be your specific person too, magician, before I shuffle, some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini. You're manifesting. You're staying focused. And if you haven't become focused, it's going to happen whether you like it or not because spirit's going to push you out of your comfort zone to start taking affirmative action to put towards also to your passions, dreams, and goals and to also hurry up with your healing process so you can move forward as well into a healthy partnership that's going to meet and match you on every level. See, these people, I feel, are going to be jealous because you're going to have a partnership that's going to meet you on a spiritual level, which is the most important, a physical level, monetary level, etc., I mean, I, I, I'm hearing, I, I don't know if it's Tony Bennett, the good life, the good life. That's what I'm hearing. Two of wands. Because they see, okay, the reason why these people are going to be jealous is because you're going to turn their your back on them. Or some of you already have. And you're looking off into the distant horizons. See, here's the world. This person is holding the world in the palm of their hand. And here's the world card. So whereas you might have felt small time. You might have felt small time amongst these people. Or they didn't give you any attention. No, pay no attention, mind, or concern to you. Okay? You rise to the top. You're going to be holding them in the palm of your hand. You're going to be bigger than the world. <laughs> I'm hearing the, I can't remember the bird's name from the Lion King, uh, when he's behind the bars and trying to entertain, um, it was it Mufasa, uh, singing, it's a small world after all. Yeah, it is a small world. And you're going to be larger and bigger than life, Scorpio, provided you be patient, and every day you grow something. You grow your business. Take one step at a time. And this is also, too, moving forward into your romantic life. This is about your positive thoughts. Not thinking small anymore about your romantic life. Not thinking that you're worthy to have the right partner in your life. Yeah, because there is romance coming in. Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you. Message from the lovers. Ah, looks like you might have a choice in love, Scorpio. Or you might need to make a choice. Mm-hmm. Let's see why that's there. Why is the two of swords here? What's the choice? What's the choice? Ah, Okay, I got a couple variable messages going on. Okay, so here's the three swords, right? You've already gone through the heartbreak. There's going to be some incumbity. <laughs> There's gonna, wow, this person, I don't know. I don't know who's the energy that I'm channeling, but my word, it's like my brain is not keeping up with my mouth or my tongue, okay? So somebody could be tongue twisted. Somebody's headed in your direction that could have blindsided you to the truth before in the past. Now you're going to have a choice to make in love in regards to a specific person. And it could very well be true. It's because they're going to go through a breakup. 
You've already been this route with this particular person. This isn't about you having heartbreak and love, no. Because everything else is showing me forward movement and the ones who are going to be butt hurt because you're actually going to end up being in a healthy partnership. So somebody's retrieving, I say, back to you because they were blindsided to the truth before in the past that you were actually the one because you're rising to the top and you're paying no attention either to this specific person or to these friends or family members. No, because they're small time and you're big and you're holding them in the palm of your hand. So, interesting. Yeah, look at You're coming into some massive success. What happens after the Ten of Pentacles? Ace of Pentacles. Right there. Yeah. And it was just a couple days ago I said... Don't, you know, basically don't let allow everybody to sit at your table of abundance. Some of them are not going to be worthy to sit at your table of abundance, Scorpio. You're moving into massive success after there was an imbalance. After there was an imbalance of energy, imbalance in your finances, imbalance in your career. Power of number five, the Hierophant. There could be some massive changes coming in for you during the season of Taurus. Or on that cusp line of Taurus into Gemini, which is also to that energy there with the lovers. Mm hmm. What I say, Scorpio? Oh, wow. Cut in the middle of the deck. Somebody wants to see you face to face or a new soulmate. Could be another water sign. Could be a fire sign. Leo energy, more specifically. Doesn't have to be. This is a soulmate. Somebody's going to contact you. Could be in the next two minutes, two hours, two days, two months. The second hour of a particular day. They could text message you at 2 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Preferably, it would be good at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, take care.